there's very steep edges around this entire lake and it's really really high and it keeps rising so you kind of have to alter your fishing tactics a little bit you're focusing all your efforts in kind of one bandwidth around the entire lake it seems like i'm going with the big hook i have a shot at a giant in here so that's just texas rig the number one wacky nico hook right there but to top it all off little shrooms weights now the way I have it rigged, you don't need a lot of weight to get that thing to fall like a rock. You can put it right in the end, thread it right into the end of your plastic. It has those barbs on there that just hold really, really well. You just keep threading it in, threading it in, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Stuff that right in the end. Texas rig it on the pointed end so everything's nice and straight. It falls, the weight pulls that down. So now, as opposed to fishing it wacky style, kind of fishing it pencil style, I guess. It's the tiny child rig. Now I can fish it pretty darn well off the steep break because it falls like a rock and it's ultra weedless being Texas rigged. As you can see, the business end is right here. It's weighted, so that weight goes into the bottom and then that just dances, that just dances around almost looks like a worm coming out of the bottom of the lake if you hold it in one spot and just shake it. And if you know bass, bass love worms. The way I'm fishing this bait, because it is so clear and there's such a steep break, I'll throw it up in about three, four feet of water, let it hit bottom, shake it a little bit, see if anything grabs it on the way down because that's a lot of times when your bites will come. And a lot of times I'll just reel it Reel it back about mm, 10 feet, drop line back to it. Let it go slack and fall all the way back down to the bottom. There, one's swimming with it right now. He's got a good hold of that. That's a good fish there. Beautiful. Coming up. I'm just backing up. I'm going to just drag him out into deep water. That way he doesn't get me into any anything I don't need, like weeds. It's a good fish. Nice chunky one. Nice, nice chunky fish. Oh, look at that. There we go. straight in his mouth he was never coming off as long as you keep your lines tight drag right you're gonna boat them every time nice bass nice clean bass cool You might be asking, well, why are you using a spinning rod and reel? The steep banks are kind of a disadvantage to the bass, really, realistically. As long as I can hook them well, especially if they come up airborne, I put the pedal drive in reverse and I just start dragging them off of the brake immediately. Just drag them all out of harm's way. The weeds, the docks, because the shoreline just tapers it's just a plummeting break you hook those fish on the brake line and you instantly start getting pulling them away from all the cover and anything that might get them you know might get you in trouble I love the long rods and kayaks because I, if anything I want to get the fish up and then I want to have that control of the fish and I'll keep my rod way up that only pulls them out and up and so if you can do that while you're largemouth fishing, that's a big key, especially with this steep break like this. The advantages are a little bit in my favor. This elastic is just incredible. It's not like any other plastic I've come across. The amount of times you can actually re-rig it and catch more fish on it. Watch the shoreline here. We're in 10 feet. I'm paralleling the shoreline. Look at that. 
right there. Dropping, 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 dropping. And I'm the same distance from the shoreline right now. And I threw right up there. Look at that, it's a pretty good drop on there. It's a clean bottom, no weeds. So I'm gonna throw up there again and see what happens. That green line, I can just see it swimming. There we go. There we go, coming up. <clears throat> oh, that's a pretty good one there. Yeah, that's a nice one. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, gosh. Oh, it choked it. <clears throat> Choked it. El Choco. That's a pretty nice one there. It's pretty incredible. You think a fish sometimes just grab a bait, eat it, and just hold on to it, you know? They swim 20 yards with it at, at sometimes, you know? It's just crazy. Especially if you're around multiple fish. They try to get it away from their buddies. Got it. Swimming. Coming up. Jeez. They're all about it right there. They are coming airborne today. Not a biggie. A nice one. Come up one more time. Nope. Note the hook. Not coming off. But she's still pretty portly. He came launching out of the water though. I will say that. Nice fish. <clears throat> nice chunky. Large mouth bass. Changed up colors a little bit. It's pretty crazy that I've been the only one out here fishing this body of water. I take that back. There was one gentleman that was out here on his dock and he was fishing. Now granted it is the middle of the work week, but you'd still think, you know, with summer and everything, there'd be some kids out here messing around, doing a little fishing, kayaking, canoeing, whatever. Not the case. I've actually been a little lonely out here, to be honest with you. Sometimes it is nice to get away from people. And I never thought I was going to get away from people in the middle of the Twin Cities, but it's just a really good way to spend a day on the water.